so I was about to record a video of the, my Stardew Valley map that I made on Peggy. And, uh... If you're talking to me, I can't hear you. No, I'm not talking to you, David. Oh, I went to change the bot skin. I noticed distorted Peggy bot. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't even know what this thing looks like. It's been so long since I've played Peggy. But... I guess I'm gonna see what it looks like. If it even has a normal animation like normal Piggy does, or if it's all just creepy. Also, I have cutscenes, so. Alright, now you can hear me again. Also, I have bad Wi Fi, so everything I do is delayed. Oh, I forgot to get rid of that. Time to see if it's. Got a normal animation. Not. Oh god. I don't like that. I love it, but I don't like it. I like it, but I don't. Oh, it's terrifying. What? Is this even from a map? Like a certain map? I think it's like the new Halloween event thing. That shouldn't really be happening right now since it's past Thanksgiving. I just got a message from Discord. What? This and you'll see what the kill looks like for this thing. This is the first map. Oh crap. First map. Oh, oh whatever. Oh, this is like a fucking sandbox. Yeah, there's multiple missions. After you have to look at the main mission, you go into a different map. They keep on doing that. That's uh, cool. They turned it into like a sand, open world sandbox, right? Uh, you can't really uh, create stuff. You can do missions and stuff. Right, but they have like a map and there's a bunch of events going on, which is because like if you know this story, it takes over probably like a 200 year time frame. And a bunch of different events happen, so like, the land was controlled by certain people in different areas, and yeah. big events happen, and then control shifted, and then big events happen, and then control shifted. Yeah, that's what happens in this. Right, that's what I'm saying. Well, before, they would just be a linear mission, and you would follow it by the day. Let me see what the kill yeah. looks like. Now it looks like they give you an open sandbox, and you have a set of time frame you gotta do. You don't have a set, you don't have a time frame that you can do. Certain no, missions no, 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 no. What they're doing is taking time stamps of these events. Like, this group of events at the beginning of the war are all going to be on this map. Okay, now events in the middle of the war are going to be on the next map. You know what I mean? And oh, okay. That's yeah. what I mean by time frame. Not oh, okay. like you have a limited time frame to get uh, No, I mean like they take a snap picture of events and then you have access to play with all of them at that time in that time period. And, and then the next. Nice. Uh, cool. so also that, depending on like what type of mission you're doing and how many missions you're doing, it's depending on uh, what is happening. Like, certain control captains will take us control of certain groups. Enemies will take control right, like, of your areas. Right, like you'll here, affect shit over here. Yeah. Right, yeah. That's cool. I wish that's how it was uh, from the beginning. 
also, that's uh, cool. We're gonna, hey, we're gonna come around and we're gonna clean this house today. Oh, yeah. Okay. Also, that, that's cool. Oh, like, if you're, if there's like five or six weeks of like a huge cool What? Didn't even show me the kill. Guns all have a bad internet. All the other guys will just retreat. Pretty cool. I'll just cut to the kill. Okay, so that kill is kind of disappointing, but still, I'm going to give you a, on, a tour around the place, and then I'll have a picture right here of the actual map. Alright, so yeah, over here's the kitchen, although normally the kitchen would be the entire thing, and then here's the uh, wine cellar, I think, I'm not sure, whatever it's called. But these are the little things, so I'm going to get rid of this block. That's good enough. Whatever. Yeah, these things, I keep forgetting the name of. The white key spawns in there. Yeah, kitchen, although normally the fridge would be over here. I just, the oven would be right there, whatever. And then you have this room. Forgot, I don't know what it's called. This is just a, this blue thing is not like a, a small room part thing. It's just a carpet that I put here. Fireplace, obviously. This room. The kid's room. Although normally it would be two beds, but I ran out of room to be the other put the other bed this room bedroom wife's or husband's room where depending on who you marry it'll look different and then you got this room which I usually well in my gameplay of Stardew Valley I don't have videos on it but this was this would be my bedroom bed right here and whatever There, I got rid of that. But normally the bed would be right here. Well, no, it may, mainly be right. I have a lot of mistakes in this map, but still, whatever. I'm not good at describing things, but this is just the max upgraded house with uh, extra rooms. We got. This room over here that's I already showed you but this is also an add-on to a room well it's not like an add-on room where you have to buy something it's just something that's in the game that Robin will upgrade for your house to so you can go to Robin after upgrading your house fully and get this room added after going to the uh, renovations thing like the cabin renovations and then you can you it's free to get this room for Robin to make the room just like it's free to add this room just I use this room mainly to loop around yeah whatever but yeah this is just a fully upgraded house in Stardew Valley that I made in Piggy